Have you ever been out and you left the house and you had a middle part and all of a sudden it was a side part? Hey girl, how you doing girl? Let me just check my lipstick real quick. Yeah, yeah girl, it, it, it's, it's, oh my God. it's, I think you got it. Have you ever been out and someone pointed out to you that you your wig cap was showing? I mean, I love it. It's just amazing. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Girl! It, yeah, your it's wig cap is showing. Yeah. My my wig, your wig cap is showing. Your hold on, girl, wig hold on. Cap. <gasps> you got oh my it. god. Oh thank you. Okay, girl. Hmm. Girl, somebody just stopped me and told me my wig cap was showing. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I'll call you. Hey, YouTube, it's your girl Rachel, and I'm coming by real quick with a simple video to solve the problem that some of you guys might have had, like I do. You know, I make wigs the ways that I wear, I make them, and sometimes over time, the spandex dome cap, the weaving cap, the cap gets kind of big, and your wig might start shifting. Just watching a few videos here on YouTube. Just trying to pick up different things, like always. I ran across a video by Jazzy Jujube, and it's kind of old, but it's about the elastic band method. And I'm not really using the method like how most people are using it for. I know people are using it pertaining to like having your closure lay flat on your head, and also for security. But my main thing is, I don't feel like redoing my wigs. After being in certain situations and feeling like my wig wasn't as secure as I wanted it to be, like I felt like it was gonna slip back, you know, and I'm, I'm up here like, oh no, don't you fall back, you know. So I decided to sew some elastic inside my wigs and bam, instant security. The instant security as far as your full wig, your wig with your lace front closure, your lace frontal, whatever you want to call it. Because sometimes those straps in the back, they don't stay tight. You know, over time, if you've had your wig for two, three years, you know, one, two, three years, it's going to loosen up and it's not going to fit your head anymore. Especially those spandex dome caps. So all you're going to need, of course, needle and thread. And you can get some cheap elastic. I bought mine from Walmart. You see the closure right there in the middle of my cap. All I did was sew one end and sew on the other and so on and so forth. I still use the adjustable straps that are here at the back, but this wig was getting so loose. It was sliding off the back of my head and now this has worked tremendously tree freaking mendously probably need a few more tools to get the proper measurement i have my measuring tape right here i'm not going to show you like off the top of my head to measure because you know i love y'all and everything but i already got my hat and my hairstyle so yeah i'm not taking my stuff here's my mannequin head and what you'll want to do is you want to measure we'll just assume these two points right here and right here are the closure so you kind of want to measure from there to there on the closure and you'll see on this mannequin that is 18 inches to get a tighter fit I would suggest you take it down to maybe 17 or 16. You don't want to go too far because then elastic tape, it'll give you a freaking headache and you don't want a headache, okay? So I would take it probably maybe to 17 or 16. This is the measurement for your head. And you go ahead and, um, you know, cut that off and easily just sew it right here and right here. Put the band on the mannequin and pull your wig back. And there you go. Her hair ain't 
ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I mean, it looks a little messy, but her hair's still on her head, okay? But that elastic band, it's totally got her head secure. Unless you wanna like really flip your head over, like then that's another story. I can't help you with that. But this totally will work. So I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. I know that was kind of quick and simple, but I wanted to share that with you and get you guys to laugh a little bit. And I just wanna say what's up to all my new subbies, cause I don't know what's going on, but over the past two days, I've been trying to figure it out too and I should just let it ride and take it as a blessing but over the past few days my channel kind of is blowing up like I keep getting these email notifications I'm like wait a minute somebody subscribing somebody likes me <laughs> so I just want to say I really appreciate you guys checking me out and I probably more than likely will have a giveaway for reaching my big 10,000 plus now subscribers and I really do appreciate it you guys and I'm sure I'll have a giveaway coming soon I have a, a lot of things that are gonna be going on with me because my birthday is coming up y'all see the hat y'all see the hat anyway if you're interested in this hat I'll put the link below for where I found this hat I will check you guys out soon on my next video and I do appreciate all my older subbies and my new subbies and heck just people that like to watch all right i'll check you guys out soon peace